there folks, welcome back to the channel. So uh, I'm going to begin today by saying a big shout out and a thank you to Average Show Watch Reviews who sent over a really cool care package with some fantastic stuff in it and in there was this. He has sent me this Heritor. Um, now, <clears throat> homages, love them or hate them, they are here and this absolutely is a homage, uh, almost a one-to-one -one of the uh, Zodiac Super Seawolf. Um, so I guess it's uh, it's a bit different to uh, all the usual stuff that you find on AliExpress. Um, we know what brands that they uh, kind of go after, but this um, is something, I guess, a little bit different. And uh, I've, s I've spoken to a few people and not many knew that these were about. So these are available from places like Secret Sales, uh, On Buy, um, Ideal World, the TV channel, you can get them on there, uh, eBay, uh, prices vary, um, eBay uh, was the dearest I saw, which was 200 GBP, all the way down to on buy, which was uh, at 118. Um, <laughs> the RRP, yeah, they're kind of doing a little bit of an Invicta thing, um, the RRP is apparently 895, but I will let you make your mind up on whether that kind of deserve that kind of RRP as we go through. So anyway, this is available in various colours and uh, yeah, it's definitely got some summer vibes going, this one. Um, so it's uh, the whole thing is uh, is brushed. Um, yeah, there's no polishing anywhere on the surface of the steel of this. And um, we'll have a closer look as we go through dimensions wise it is a big boy so uh, you guys with smaller wrists this is not going to be for you so comment in in the comment section too big yeah right okay fine i know all right <laughs> don't buy one then so we have a case size of 44 millimeters if you include the bezel which has a, a little bit of an overhang that is at 45 millimeters including the crown is 48.4 we've got a lug to lug of 53.8 so pretty big however we do have these uh, female end links on that bracelet and the bracelet if you can see is is actually kind of set back a little bit uh, so the effective lug to lug is 51 uh, we've got a, a thickness of 14.8 so that is pretty chunky and a lug width of 22 millimeters construction of the watch is all 316l stainless steel completely brushed we've got vertical brushing on the side of the case uh, which is okay I've, I've i've seen it done better um but yeah it's okay it's passable uh, we've got sign crown which is screwed down we'll come back and have a look at that in a little while uh, the brushing on the top is actually it is kind of nicer than the uh, the brushing on the outside of the case. You can see that that vertical brushing again, and the vertical brushing is uh, kind of makes it look even thicker. Um, you know, it's at fourteen point eight. It really could have done with brushing going the other way. I think would have been nicer. But yes, you've got a reasonable drop down in those lugs, so it does actually sit on the wrist fairly well uh, we've got an overall weight of 185 grams and that is with two links taken out so you're probably 195 grams getting pretty close to that 200 mark with all the links in and i would think it probably with all the links fit just over eight inch wrist eight and a quarter maybe uh, we've got a mineral crystal uh, which has got a slight dome to it which gives a little bit of distortion and we've also got mineral crystal on the back of the watch and we'll come back and have a look at that shortly uh, inside the watch is a Seiko NH35A we all know about those 21,600 vibrations per hour 24 joules hacking and hand winding um, reliable as anything so the movement inside this absolutely fine uh, let's just uh, come in a little bit closer on that dial and we'll have a bit of a look at that. Uh, you've got that uh, that orange minute track running around the outside. You've got orange frame around the date window, and uh, you know lots of orange in there against the black is, uh, and with that that blue bezel insert. And I don't know what that insert is. I'm going to guess it's probably mineral crystal, the same 
as the crystal over covering that dial. Uh, loom filled uh, applied indices, loom filled hands, and that uh, square paddle on the end of the second hand has also got loom in it. Heritor printed at the top, and then automatic, and your 200 meters. 660 feet just below that. Uh, the bezel itself, I will be quiet so you can hear that. Quite a nice sound to it. Uh, quite a nice feel as well. It's uh, The resistance is pretty good. There's no sponginess. Nice even clicks. Um, and there is a little bit of back play, but once you've got it where you want it, once it's there, that's a bit solid. Um, it's yeah, it's pretty good. It it doesn't uh, it, yeah it doesn't wobble about once it's actually back in place or set. So uh, the edge of this bezel is, uh, I mean, it's very grippy, but it is a bit on the sharp side. If I'm honest, it's uh, yeah. It, when you kind of run your fingers across it, it is definitely sharp. Uh, knurling on the crown is absolutely fine and the operation of the crown unscrews pops out nicely uh, you've got your hand winding at the first position and then uh, you can pull it out all the way and the uh, seconds hand will hack so you can change your time um, and then the uh, second position is your date change so all the normal stuff uh, re-engagement of the crown is fine no problem with that it's quite smooth actually one of the smoother ones I've come across. Now then, the bracelet. Um, as I said, it's got that cut, that female end link that drops down well inside the end of those lugs. It's a very well-known style of bracelet. Uh, 22 mil here tapers down to 20 mil at the clasp. All brushed, uh, no polishing whatsoever. It is on push pins. You come to the clasp. We've got three levels of micro adjust, and then uh, your flip lock, and then. Now, yes, it has a milled clasp, but it didn't come with that. I have put that on there. It came with a pressed clasp, uh, which is, uh, you know, we all know about those. And there is your movement ticking away in the back there and all the various kind of things that you need to know on the back of the watch. As you can see, we've got solid end links. So the specs of the watch is actually quite good. Um, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. The loom is, uh, is very good. Uh, no complaints about that would have been uh, I think they missed a little bit of a trick with that uh, that bezel if they'd have loomed that uh, as you can see it's just got the pip on there uh, but if they'd have loomed the bezel as well that would have been an, a bit a nice touch a bit of a cracking loom monster that would have been but it's pretty good anyway and it absolutely does definitely last through the night not sure what the compound is i'm gonna guess that they probably use uh, something like c3 um so yes there we have it there we have it thank you very much again to average joe for sending over the care package and sending over this watch and uh, i will be uh, picking up some fkms for this i think some nice colorful ones for the summer I think that'll uh, that'll look pretty cool. I wouldn't be putting it on a one of those uh, uh, nylon. I'm not allowed to say the name. You know the ones I mean because you're going to add another two to three mil to the bottom of that case, and that is going to make that sit quite high on the wrist. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as it is, it's a nice looking watch, absolutely. And if this is your kind of thing, I think at uh, you know the current prices of one three nine. Around about that, or if you can pick them up less, then absolutely, if you like this kind of thing, then yeah, I can say it's actually quite a nice, decent, reasonably made watch. Um, nothing really wrong with that at all. Quick look at the box, I and mean, it comes in a very normal standard box, just a lift up lid with your bits of paper in there and your, your warranty card, which is obviously unsigned, as you would expect. Um, because nobody seems to sign them these days. You kind of register them online. Uh, but yes, there we go. Um, as I said, the one thing you won't get with this is a milled clasp. Uh, it will come with a pressed one. But yes, there we have it. The Heritor Edgard Divers Automatic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, yes, please don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, 
that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Cheers for now.